Hey guys, welcome to Fast Break Kids. <laughs> We're gonna be playing some Street Fighter Five today. Uh, you <laughs> you've seen me play Street Fighter Five before. It's not good. It's not pretty. But what the heck? Here we go. Um, I've been playing as a Buki, and it has not been going very well. Buki! But that's the process of learning a character, I think. We're gonna run a couple matches with the Buki, and then maybe I'll go back to Alex, where I really shine. Fun stuff! I know, right? Make okay. Fun smash. I was working in the lake one night. Did you know in Switzerland, it's illegal to, um, to own just one guinea pig? It's like if you wanted to buy your kid a guinea pig, you'd have to buy more than one. That's not true. That sounds fake. True. You're fake. What would you name your boat if you had one? Uh, well, Boaty McBoat face is already taken. I'd probably name him... Him? Alright. All right. Don't you identify... I Maybe swear. your boat wants to be a her. That's... That's true. Maybe your boat it. wants to identify as an airplane. Then it's just breaking the rules. That's just outright breaking the rules. What would you name your boat? Oh, the one time he doesn't Jaguar uppercut. I don't do anything. So what would you name your butt? <laughs> what well, I name my butt? <laughs> well, I already have a name for my butt. And it is... Tip Tucker. <laughs> okay. I would probably do... The SS Boot Sauce. <laughs> What will finally break the internet? Wreck it, Ralph. <laughs> Topical! What? No. Um, I think if something were to break the internet, we're we talking like what, like what? WTF moment would break the internet? Not like nuclear yeah. holocaust. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think if Waluigi was on the front cover of Super Smash Bros. I think that that would break the internet. Wow, 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 wow. Dog. Why? It always matches me with like Mexico or Puerto Rico or like or like Argentina. Why? My region is set as the US. Why? We got an entire country full of people that I know are playing this game and it's like, "Hey, how'd you like to play against somebody from Mexico?" Where's the worst smelling place you've been? The bathroom after the Goodwill. Dylan's in it. The freaking Goodwill up here next to the road, I'm telling you, it smells like feet. We've been over this. We've talked about this, right? It's awful. Really? Yes, it smells terrible. I hate... Ugh! The Goodwill up the road smells <laughs> like feet, though. Seriously, every time. It's really, it's really, like, obviously there's places, there's things that I smell that are, like, worse, but, like, like... That place consistently stinks. Homeless people have nowhere to go and they smell bad. Well, so maybe they just go in Goodwill like pretending to shop and like all the stench just gets like stuck in there. So, oh no, no, no. And uh, they don't, they don't. Like, homeless people like, they don't. Like, like they may give their clothes to Goodwill and they might be like, like keeping homeless clothes. Like, well, oh, <laughs> back it up. So you hold on. They don't actually like live in Goodwill. First of all, I know, but the homeless people don't live there. They don't go there. Yeah, I no, see they have homeless people go in. No, Goodwill. no. Yes, they have yes. like outreach centers where they like take the money that they make in the stores and they and they use it to help homeless people. They don't live there. No, and I they never also, said they live also, there. Do you, do you think homeless people go there to buy clothes? <laughs> That's not what they do. I know. I'm saying, like, cause if if it's hot out. And they need someone to go, they'll like go in a store not, and like make it look like they're shopping so they don't get kicked out. They're not lizards, like they, <laughs> there are places to go other than Goodwill to like. Okay, but they can't go in a re restaurant for longer than like 10 minutes or else they'll get kicked out. They, like well, there's no, nowhere to no, sit in a they gas can, station. They can go into like a restaurant and sit and like, and like have a drink of water or something. They can't like sleep. Like that's the kind of stuff that they're like, you gotta go. You can't be sleeping in here. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there are homeless people who sleep all up in that good bowl. I don't know. Yeah. It smells like feet, though. It's nasty. I'm serious. Well, I'm not going. 
You know what I realized the other day? The Russian national anthem turns into um, Holly Jolly Christmas by Burr Lives whenever I sing it. I don't know why. I'm serious. I'm serious. So check it out. Like, it goes like. I don't know why! What old person things do you do? I've actually been thinking about this a lot lately because I kind of want to like start like a, no, 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 serious. Like, I want to start like a list of things like a Jeff Foxworthy routine. You know, Jeff Foxworthy is? Jeff Foxworthy is this comedian. And he would his one of his like his main shtick was, if you've ever X, you might be a redneck. So like he'd be like, if you've ever driven to school on your riding lawnmower, you might be a redneck. And that was that was a reference to Waterboy. But like the other day we were using pizza cutter, cutting some pizzas that we made, and like. You know, like, you know what an old person does? You know when you're old? If you've ever cut a pizza with a pair of scissors, you might be a secret person. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. Yeah. That's right. like when you know you're old. But the most old person thing I do is, like, hate social media and, like, all of society. Like, I just, I think it's all just a bunch of garbage. I do. No, come on. You've heard me talk about this. Like, I think that... You just hate it all? Just, like, all It's like, s- I hate the fact that people... So, people like to use social media to feed into their own vanity, but, like, like almost everybody does it, so nobody wants to say anything about it. It's like if, if like, tomorrow, poop tasted like ice cream. <laughs> like, there might be a little bit of, of resistance, but, like... Everybody's gonna be eating poop. If everybody's eating it, then nobody's gonna be like, "You're eating poop? Disgusting!" You know what I mean? So that's a bad analogy, but like, all right. People like just are obsessed with themselves, and they think every part, every little tiny thing that happens in their lives is. They think it's gonna be as important to other people as it is to them, and okay, it just I got you, I is. Got you. It I just got you. is not, and that's fine. It doesn't have to be. If you want to keep in touch with your friends and your family, that's fine. But it's like. The assertion that any part of your life is like important enough, even if you like, even if you like meet the president, or like meet a president that you like. I know a lot of people hate Trump. Something, something like momentous that doesn't happen very often. I'm like, okay, that's cool. If it's somebody really close to me, I'm like, that's very cool. Do you think aliens exist? Hey mom, there's something in the back room. Hope it's... What if... Aliens exist. What if... What? We're aliens. Like, what if a dinosaur... What if, like, when dinosaurs existed... Stop. A big UFO came... Stop. And just, like, dropped a few aliens... And, like, that's us. And we're aliens. Do not pretend to know world history... (laughs) Until you've spoken to this genius, okay? Okay? She's blowing the roof off of this whole My thing. My office is open from 3.41 to 3.42 p.m. on Thursdays. That's very strange. It's very specific. But you know what? When you're working with when a you're genius, genius, you can do whatever you flipping want. Correct! <laughs> What's the most pleasant sounding accent? Jamaican. You think Jamaican's the best okay, accent? Okay, no, probably Australian. But like, what? I love Jamaican accent. Like, as far as accents go that are so- what, soothing? Soothing. Mm-hmm. Oh, for crying out loud. I think Australian accents are cool, not soothing. British? British, we're getting closer. I think the most soothing accent is Irish Scotland. like a Scottish really yeah young yeah. female yeah it's that that's the one that's the one to go with Irish. oh how are you oh you're looking nice today mr <laughs> mr Wilson what's more soothing than that Jamaican accents are cool because I'm Jamaican <laughs> how many people
people would believe that if I were to tell them I was Jamaican. You think? Would you believe it? Like most of them. <laughs> like, there's like one really big prerequisite. Okay, but like I, I don't even have a Jamaican accent. Like, if you were to tell me you were Finnish, I believe you because you're blonde. Right. Right. Don't look at me like that. <gasps> what odd smell do you really enjoy? To be honest, I like the smell of gas. Uh, I can relate to that. Not like I just like, I don't, like it's not even like I'm just like obsessed with smell, but like, I don't know, I... It's an okay smell. Like, it's one of those smells you definitely don't want to get a little... You don't want to get too much of that. Yeah, because, but like... Uh, it's just not good for the old brain. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, I'm going to add to that last one. Your own farts. Come on. Don't you... <laughs> Maybe that's just a guy thing? Yeah, because I do not... I've never, like, farted and been like, Oh, yes! And just like... <laughs> You laughing like a crazy person over here. <laughs> I, I don't I don't vocally go, ah oh, yeah But but it's true, like your own father but... like <laughs> What naps are most satisfying? Well obviously. The best naps are the ones that you deserve. Because sometimes you know that you can take a nap and you're like I have too much to do to be sleeping during yeah. the day. Those are the worst naps, I think. What animal is the most majestic? Horses! We should get a horse. I'm gonna ask so? for a horse for Christmas. Uh, we don't have the uh, setup. We have a house. We don't have a setup for that. We have a, we have a huge backyard. Yeah, we you need like stables. We have and stuff. an alleyway. Like I can just like ride the horse down the alley. Yeah, that's okay. Did you know seven percent of American adults believe that chocolate milk comes from brown cows? Adults? Yeah. Like legally, like by age. Yeah. Mean. Okay. All of them are all of them are Kardashians. <laughs> Got him! Well, <laughs> No. Huh. English. What? An eagle That's can kill that an eagle. a young deer and fly away with it. Don't underestimate the eagle. I was gonna say, that bald eagle is one bad ombre. Am I right? You right! He is you one right. patriotic American. Whoa! Picking up the bad... The, the, hey, hey, <laughs> yeah! A lion's roar can be heard from five miles away. No. Yeah. Have you ever heard a lion roar? <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a children's show. Hey, kids. Have you ever heard a lion roar? <laughs> what celebrity would you rate as a perfect 10? Jesus. Uh That's an easy one. So I think I should get her an, an award for answering that. You should win a perfectly. You should win a full ride scholarship to the school of how to speak English first. That would be great. That speak would a word. be great. Hey, you failed too today. What? You were just sitting here like trying to speak, and then you're like, or playing a game and like, and like kicking everyone's butt. By the way, I was nasty today. That was nasty! Guys, thank you for joining us for this momentous video. Um, we appreciate you watching. Uh, if you have any answers to any of the questions we asked, uh, you can leave those in the, uh, the comment section. Please, we'd love to hear from you. Um, and if you would like to pay for some sort of counseling session from from either of us because it's, it's pretty yeah well, it's gotta be apparent at this point that we are we're smart savants just which means that we're completely inept in almost every aspect of life except for just one or two things mm -hmm. um so this has been the fast break kids 
Michaela. For Michaela, yep. I'm Jared. Keep it clean. Keep it fresh. And keep, keep it, it fun. fun. We'll see you next time. You know, I was hoping for a more dramatic ending. How could you possibly hope for a more dramatic ending than that? That was... <laughs> That was, that was so good. Are you okay? Have you, we're going to play that game one of these days and you're going to be like, oh, wait, well, this music is. Yeah, 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 sure. A space music club.